What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Stevie the Black. That's S-T-E-V-E-E, -E -E, the Black. I'm back, and I'm here to give you my first ever of the new era, Monday Night Raw review. Oh, man, Monday Night Raw yesterday. Raw felt new. Raw felt energetic, and it didn't even feel like three hours. Like, it felt fun. It felt exhilarating. It just felt awesome. It just felt brand new. You really felt like you were in a new era. Like, it wasn't the raw of the past. It was new. It was exciting. And, you know, I'm excited for the new era. Y'all see, I got my CM Punk shirt on. Best in the world. All right. Anyway, I thought I'd wear it, you know, for a special occasion for the beginning of the new era. All right. So, let's kick things off with... uh. Stephanie and Mick Foley, they were in the ring. They were addressing everything that happened. They are addressing the new era. And they said that because of the fact that Roman Reigns lost the triple threat match for Raw, that the WWE Championship is now on SmackDown. Now, this is the point where I'm thinking, okay, here we go. They're going to introduce the World Heavyweight Championship. They're going to bring it back. We're going to be great, right? But nope. They brought a new era, so it's a new championship. The WWE Universal Championship. I just want that to sink in for a second. The Universal Championship. It, it's so weird. It's 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 not a horrible name, but it's like, yeah, I'll stick to going to SmackDown for the WWE Championship. That is what it's like. So, I mean, the name isn't... It's just, oh my God. It, it's unbelievable. It's, 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 it's just, wow. The Universal Championship... Who came up with that, right? Okay, but other than that, the Mick Foley set up two Fatal 4-Way matches for the number one contendership to fight Seth Rollins for the title at, battle, uh, at SummerSlam. They didn't reveal the championship, so I'm guessing they're waiting to do that for SummerSlam, I guess, you know, but all right, I really wanted to see what it looked like, but okay, fine. So... It also said that uh, because Shasha Banks made Charlotte tap out, that they were going to be a Divas title match, uh, a women's title match later on tonight. So with those two aspects, plus with the new design and the music and everything, even the announcers weren't even in the same hood. They were like in the back corner or something. I don't even know where they were. But they weren't in their usual spot. So everything felt different. It looked different. And like I said, it wasn't even like it felt like three hours because everything was so it's everything felt so new and fresh. It was it was really something. It was really amazing. And um, so with that whole fiasco, I gave it a B. The only reason I didn't give it an A is because it's the name, the WWE Universal Championship. It's like, yeah, I'm going to go fight for the Universal Championship. Yep. I'm just, that's what I'm going to go fight for. No, I'll stick to the WWE Championship. All right. Uh, Alright, so they started off with the first Fatal 4-Way, which was between Cesaro, Kevin Owens, Rusev, and Finn Balor, or Baylor, or whatever you want to say it. And the match was great. The match was awesome, and my boy uh, Finn Balor ended up winning. I said my boy. I don't even know him like that. I, I, Y'all know me. I don't really watch NXT. I did see the Beast in the East when he won the NXT Championship. But other than that, I really have no knowledge or recognition of who Finn Balor is or anything like that or what his history is. Just like I had no recollection of who AJ Styles was. But as time goes on, I, you know, I, I learned. So, all right. Um, I think Balor was an obvious choice of winning. I mean, Cesaro could have won, but Kevin Owens could have won. We all know Rusev wasn't running because he's the United States champion. But... Baylor was an obvious choice, and it was awesome, it was great, and congratulations to him. It's funny because my friend was like, why isn't he in his face paint? Everyone was asking me that, and I'm like, his face paint is only when he's in his demon form. And they're like, oh, what's his demon form? And I'm like, I don't know what his demon form is. I don't know that much about him. Alright, so I gave that little match an A because it was great, it was awesome. Next, we had Nia Jack's debut, and she is the cousin of The Rock. She's related to The Usos, Roman Reigns. It's, uh... It's great, everything, but um, she debuted against a jobber. So, I mean, I, you don't have to debut against a jobber. You could make him look strong or whatever like that. You could have her fight, I don't know, 
Alicia Fox, something, at least a former Divas champion. How about that? At least that, not a jobber that nobody knows. But anyway, obviously, Nia Jax won, so I gave it a C. I need to see something more out of her before I can say that she's a legitimate threat to the Divas division or women's division or whatever. Next, we had the second Fatal 4-Way, Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, Jericho, and Sheamus. I was really hoping that since... Uh, Kevin Owens wouldn't come and interrupt and cost uh, Sami Zayn the match, but thank God he did it. So that truly means this feud is over for now, and we won't have to worry about it for a while. But um, obviously the choice of Roman Reigns winning, we all knew it was going to happen. I still thought they were on trail on track for Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins at, Money in the, at SummerSlam, which is why I'm thinking Roman Reigns is going to win the whole thing, you know? He's going to beat Finn Balor in the final match on the main event tonight, and we're going to get as we planned. It's just a play. It's too bad. I feel bad for Finn Balor, but because obviously we know, we all know what happened later that night, and I'll talk about it. But um, because Rain was an obvious choice, I gave it a B. But the match was great. I mean, everyone felt like it had a chance to win. So yeah. All right. <sighs> Next, we had the New Day celebrating their 337th reign as WWE Tag Team Champions. They are the longest reigning tag team champions, and they will. Be defending those titles at SummerSlam, the and I and uh, I gave it a B because having the uh, what do you call it the club attack them. I really, really they just lost last night. If anyone deserves a tag team title match opportunity, it should be Enzo and Cass. We can have the New Day versus Enzo and Cass. Can you imagine the war of words those guys would have with each other? It would be nice. It'd be funny. And it'd be something that everyone wanted to see. I mean, why give it to the clubs? Because they're heel? I mean, come on now. I, that's another obvious choice. While Raw was great, they made a lot of obvious choices that we knew was going to happen. We knew Finn Balor was going to win this match. We knew Roman Reigns was going to win this match. We all had a feeling that... The club would attack the New Day, and then that would be their challenges, and that would be their opponents for SummerSlam for the title. So, you know, I mean, the Raw was so great, don't get me wrong, but they made a, a lot of obvious choices that we all knew who was going to win and what was going to happen. But other than that, I gave it a B. I mean, they pulled someone from the crowd whose name was Sonny Boy or whatever like that, and I just, wow. Okay. He's like his mom. He's like, what's your name, Sonny Boy? It's Sonny Boy. No, no, what's your name? It's Sonny Boy. No, no, what's your government name? It's Sonny Boy. You mean to tell me when your bills come in and you have to do this and that and you have to write your signature, you write Sonny Boy. I was like, okay, fine. Next, we had Neville coming back in his return match on Raw and he faced uh, Curtis Axel. Um, the match was like three minutes and you know what? I, I really wasn't into it. And I think Neville won't have... A more exciting career until the cruiserweight division comes because then Neville will be truly able to shine and he'll be in his element I guess you can say with everyone else when this tournament comes to an end so looking forward to that but uh, other than that I gave the match a C it was great to see him back and everything like that so yeah all right next we have Sasha Banks against Charlotte for the women's championship and surprisingly Sasha Banks won the title now, you would think, we all thought that they were going to save the match for SummerSlam, that the same thing was going to happen, disqualification from Dana Brooks or whatever, and uh, then they would, Charlotte would get a, uh, Shasha would get a rematch for the title at uh, Battleground, or SummerSlam, but instead they actually had Shasha win the title, and it was a great thing, it was like, finally she did it, um, she beat, she dethroned Charlotte or whatever like that, so, um, that was interesting. Um, it's not uncommon for title changes to occur on Raw. I mean, me thinking about this thinks made me think back to the time McFoley won the WWE Championship on Monday Night Raw all those years ago. So it's not uncommon, but um, expect the rematch probably at SummerSlam, if not next week. And then we'll go from there. But other than that, congratulations, Sasha. She is the new women's champion. Next, we had Braun Strowman taking on... A jobber named James Ellsworth. Um, I mean, I gave it a C. It's like Nia Jax. We'll have to. I mean, it's not horrible. I mean, he had a kind of a new look. 
and he's not acting like Bray Wyatt. So I guess he's on his own. I don't. I didn't see his entrance because my dad had the remote and he had it on a different channel. So I didn't see if he was still wearing his sheet mask or not. But um, he looked kind of different. Act kind of different. And I don't remember his song. So we'll just have to wait until next Monday night to uh, hear him out. But um, yeah, I gave that a C. So. Next, we had Enzo and Cass come out. They were talking about their victory last night. And then they had an opponent, the Shining Stars. And uh, we're like, okay. Again, I really... I gave it a D because, first of all, they lost... They won because the Shining Stars got distracted because of... Um, hold on, excuse me. There we go. Because they got distracted because... Um, Oh yeah, because uh, Golden R Truth was playing Pokemon Go and they got distracted and you know Enzo and Cask won or whatever like that. I, I think that's dumb. And again, like I said, the Enzo and Cash should be facing the New Day for the tag team titles. That's a match everyone wants to see, but instead we're getting the club. And I'm like 90% sure the club will win. But I have to again see the coming weeks to uh, get a gauge of how everything plays out. Maybe the New Day might end up retaining. Who knows? But finally, the match, the main event, Roman Reigns versus Finn Balor, the one for the the winner gets to face Seth Rollins for the WWE Universal Championship, and the winner of that match was Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns came out, he did his thing, he dominated him, he threw Finn Balor across the ring. I'm like, bro, that looked like it hurt, man. He threw him around the ring a couple times, man, and it was like, oh my gosh, it was incredible. But, uh, especially, you know, Finn Balor got back in it, and yes, I know, you're thinking, Steven, um, don't you mean Finn Balor? Yes, I know Finn Balor won. I was actually shocked, and I think Roman's in the doghouse right now because of his suspension, because, I mean, if you really think, well, you can't be the face of the company and get suspended, that, that's just not gonna work. I don't know if Hulk Hogan ever got suspended during his run. I don't know, John, I know John Cena never got suspended during his run, um... Hulk Hogan, I, th I think I said Hulk Hogan already. Stone Cold Steve Austin never got suspended during his run. I mean, he got injured, yeah, but that's what comes with the job, but never suspended. So it's like, okay, let's hit the reset button on this. Obviously, everyone was booing him anyway. And look, the crowd, it's just like 75-25, okay? 75% of the crowd is booing. 25% of the crowd is cheering for him. And it's like, there's only one thing to do. Now, what is there going... He has to turn heel. Now, as of what he's going to do for SummerSlam, I have no clue. Maybe he'll challenge Rusev for the United States Championship. Maybe he'll fight Cesaro. Maybe a returning star from the past might come back, like Goldberg or something. I don't know. But Roman's got to do something for SummerSlam because we're getting Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins. And I think that's amazing. To be quite honest, I think it would be even more interesting if we had... Finn Balor versus Sami Zayn in the finals because really if you think about it I don't think we've ever seen that match but it'd be interesting because you didn't know oh man Sami he's got rid of Zami he's got rid of Kevin Owens so now he could go on and become the universal champion or oh, we got Finn Balor in his debut Raw he could become the number one contender for the match and become the universal champion who's going to win I mean with Roman we all thought Roman was going to win and then Roman lost and Finn won and the funny thing is Roman got interviewed after the match and he was like I hope and he was looking at Finn Bauer celebrating, and it looked like maybe he was going to turn heel, like he was going to go back in the ring and attack him, but he just said, I hope he beats Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship because I want a rematch. Again, I don't know how many times I have to say it. I don't know how many times anyone else has to say it. You got to turn the guy heel. That's the only thing. I mean, his new look goes with his beard. It goes with the look. I mean, he might as well be heel without actually turning you know go back and look at some of the videos i did this turning heel make your career what WWE can do for roman reigns part two and what WWE should have done with roman reigns part one those are some great videos i mean i rewatched them yesterday and i was like oh yeah i remember when i made these these are some great points people need to watch this people need to see what i'm talking about and they need to get on this train